Hey everyone, I'm back. First thing I'm going to do today, or I should say the next thing I'm going to do today, is I'm going to put the first coat of polyurethane on the walking stick. Um, I put a, a first coat on and then I clear the three channels that I'm going to paint with, uh, with the grinding stones. And the reason I put the polyurethane on them first is when I clear that channel take the polyurethane out of there and then when I go to paint it uh, the paint won't stick to the polyurethane so when I put it on and if I get it over a little bit I can just wipe it off and it's gone if I tried doing it now and put it over it would sink right into the wood uh, that's the only way I could really find to do it so it's uh it comes out looking halfway decent if i tried uh I, i'm too too shaky too nervous to do that now and uh, it would be just a a complete mess so that's the reason so when i do the painting with the acrylics i can just wipe it and the edges are nice and sharp and clean so I'll stop babbling now and uh, get the camera set up and we'll do the first coat <coughs> okay I'm hoping I can get it all framed in And as before, I have to put it in the holder over here and finish it over there. All right, got the first coat of polyurethane on. Uh, it looks pretty good. I've seen a couple of small spots that still had the, the swirls in them a little bit, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, I guess, um, I guess that's what happens when you use a, a vibrating sander. I just have to figure out a better way to check for it, I guess. Anyway, that's all done. Now it has to sit and uh, hopefully it'll dry overnight. Uh, it's been rainy, wet, um, warm, but the humidity is horrible. And in my little shop, I don't have an air conditioner or anything. So I'm hoping it'll dry overnight. But if not, it might take two days for it to dry. But whatever the case, I will get back to you and we'll, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, clean out the, the grooves and paint them and we'll go on from there. Alrighty, see you in a bit. Hey everyone, 
what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be clearing the, the three grooves that go around and I have a set of four of them. One, two, three, yeah, actually five of them. Golly. Don't even know how to count anymore. But anyway, let me get the camera set up, get everything going, get my apron on, and we'll start taking the grooves out of you. Alright? Okay. okay, here we go. camera up here the grooves are clean I'm gonna go over it with uh, 320 sandpaper uh, with a it's a brass dowel but uh, wrap it around and, and go over that and make it just a little bit smoother inside but uh, that, I will forego the videoing. Uh, that's just uh, really boring, actually. Well, I might do a couple just to show you what I'm talking about. All right? Let me get everything around and we'll get at it. Okay. This is the brass rod I use. And a 320 sandpaper. And I just go in the groove. It's just that simple. So I'm going to turn the camera off, finish it out, and get back to you. Okay. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be painting the grooves. And there's five sets of them. Which are two more sets than I usually have. So Anyway, let me get the camera set up and uh, we, will, we will get going.
This is a good place to end this one. Thank you all. I really appreciate you watching. See you next video. Bye-bye. And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful.